Hi guys, welcome back. It's been a slight gap with the videos, but we are now back and today we're going to unbox and check out the all new iPhone 11. This is the box that the phone comes in and we got the 64 GB variant of the iPhone 11. There are three storage options available and the pricing starts at 64,918 rupees and for that price you get this which has 64 GB of storage and if you want the next variant you need to spend 5000 rupees more. This phone is actually the upgrade for the iPhone XR and this time the pricing is lower than what the iPhone XR was initially sold for. The box is a classic Apple white box with the phone's picture right on the front. On opening the box there is this weird cutout for the camera module on the top section of the box. Let's keep this aside and the first thing we see is the phone. Now this time Apple has done something different and that's the protecting film is not present on the rear portion but instead it's only on the front. Let's keep the phone aside now and check the rest of the contents in the box. And the next thing is the envelope which holds the documentations and since this phone is the product red version you get this special product red documentation and the rest is the normal things that's common with every iPhone. Here you also get the SIM ejector pin and also a couple of Apple stickers. Then on moving in, you can see the very disappointing charging brick which is a 5 volt 1 iron charger. This time Apple did include fast charger in the box but that's only with the pro models. And also if you are wondering why the charging pin is different, it's because I bought this phone from Canada. Then the final accessories that you get is the lightning earphone and also the lightning to USB A charging cable. So that's everything for the contents in the box and now let's check the phone. The phone's dimensions are pretty much identical to the iPhone XR and I feel this dimension is the best. It's like a sweet spot where it's not very small and also not very big. The buttons are flanked on the right and left side and on the right side it's the side button which has multiple functions and on the left is the volume buttons. You still get the very handy mute slider on the left side. Then on the bottom you get the lightning port and also the microphone and the speaker grill. Now what I have noticed here with this red color is that the side rails which is made of aluminium has a darker red color than the glass back. And here on the back there is this interesting design theme where the camera module section is matte finished glass and the rest is glossy. And also the Apple logo has moved to the center and there is no more iPhone branding here. And since this is the product red variant we have the product red branding. Overall I do like this design. It's a very familiar one to the iPhone XR but actually before seeing the phone in person I felt this design was kinda ugly. But to be frank. Now that I have the phone, I do like this design and I probably think this might become a trend. Well one thing to note here with the design is that the cameras actually protrude out from this already protruding out glass portion. Now let's turn the phone on and to do that you just have to hold the side button. The setup process is pretty straightforward and most of you guys will be familiar with it and hence I did it quickly and on setting the phone and seeing the home screen for the first time it's a very familiar iOS 13 home screen. Well before doing anything since this is the 64 GB storage variant I take the available storage out of the box and it's approximately 53 GB. The new things about the iPhone 11 is that it's powered by Apple's new A13 bionic chip which has really impressive processing power and hence everything is really smooth. Well the previous processor which is the A12 bionic is in fact still better than most of its competitors and this one actually is a big leap forward. And because of that the most hyped thing about this phone which is the camera actually does some very impressive stuff while capturing photos as well as videos. Now since we have talked about the camera, the iPhone 11 has dual camera on the rear in which the main camera is a wide angle one with f1.8 aperture and the second one is an ultra wide angle one with f2.4 aperture. The main sensor has optical image stabilization and actually the photos taken by the main camera in good lighting is not drastically different from the iPhone XR. But the difference is noticeable while capturing photos in low light situation because now there is a night mode available. There isn't any toggle to turn on night mode but how Apple has said it is when you are about to take a photo in a low lit environment then you get to see the night mode option and you can actually turn it on if you want. And it really works well. Shots captured in dark environments are much better with night mode on and this is a good improvement on the camera side. Now what I felt about the shots captured with the camera system in the iPhone 11 is that the photos are sharper. Then talking about the ultra wide angle camera it's useful than a portrait camera. Now it's not a very perfect ultra wide angle camera because in certain shots you can see the weird effect you normally see with an ultra wide angle camera. Now during my initial testing the best thing I've noticed with the main camera is the videos that it captures. You can record 4K video at 60 FPS and the videos look really stunning for a mobile camera. And also there is very good improvement this time on the front camera side. 
Finally, Apple is using a much better sensor, which is a 12 megapixel one with f2.2 aperture, any other shots are much wider and also crisper. This is the best selfie camera used on any iPhone to date, and this camera also has the ability to capture 4K video at 60fps. Then Apple has also touted that it has improved the face ID in the iPhone 11, and from my testing, I think it's slightly better than the old one, but in most scenarios, it is not that noticeable. Well, there are more such minor upgrades like slightly better battery than the iPhone XR, and also the water resistance has improved from the XR. Apple has also said the speakers are better with spatial audio and also support for Dolby Atmos, but for that, you need content that supports it. And when I checked normal YouTube videos side by side with an iPhone XR, I didn't notice that much of a difference. I didn't touch the screen yet because technically the screen used on the iPhone 11 is same as the iPhone XR. The display is a 6.1 inch LCD display which has a pixel density of 326 ppi. On paper it looks bad but in person this is a very good LCD panel and I really like it. But overall I'm very much impressed with the iPhone 11. I feel even though Apple didn't update its design from the XR, this update is more of like perfecting things. As of now I surely feel if you have an iPhone XR, there is no point in upgrading to the iPhone 11. But if you have an iPhone 8 or below and you're planning to upgrade, this one is a great update and the pricing is also not very bad. I'm gonna end this video here, but I will be testing this phone for some more time and will give an update on everything on my full review. And if you don't want to miss that, please don't forget to subscribe and also please don't forget to hit the like button for this video. See you again in the next one. Till then, bye.